tell us uh, what is uh, the last thing that you remembered, Emmett? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, it's me Cody here. After receiving thousands of requests, today we're going to be attempting to get in contact with the spirit of Emmett Till. Many of you watching may already be familiar with who Emmett Till was, but for those of you who are unfamiliar, Emmett Till was a 14 year old African American boy who was abducted, tortured, and lynched in Mississippi in 1955. After being accused, of offending a white woman named Carolyn Bryant in her family's grocery store. The brutality of his murder and the fact that his killers were acquainted drew attention to the long history of violent persecution of African Americans in the United States. Due to the sensitivity of this case, Emmett Till provided a catalyst for emerging civil rights movements. Today, I hope to be able to get in contact with the spirit of Emmett Till and ask him important questions that all you submitted in a recent community post. Just before we get into it though, I do need to state a quick disclaimer. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Cody, and here on this channel, I conduct spirit box sessions using ITC devices. I can never be 100% sure who or what is coming through and speaking through this device at any given time. This is why I encourage you as the viewer to use your own critical thinking and to come to your own conclusion on whether you believe that this was the spirit of the individual mentioned in the title of this video. When talking and calling out to the spirits, I will call out using their real name in hopes that that is who we are speaking to, but again, I can never guarantee that who you hear in this video is the spirit of the individual mentioned in the title of this video. Spirit communication is still in its early stages and is extremely experimental. This is why I urge you to watch this video with an open mind and let me know in the comment section if you believe that this was the spirit we hope to get in contact with, based off the replies that they give us and the messages that they leave. Now with all that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Emmett, I've been trying for such a long time now to get in contact with you, and through the help of my spirit guide George and many other kind and loving spirits in the area, I believe that we've finally been able to make contact with you on the other side tonight. Emmett, are you here with us? long way coming. Did you have a lot of trouble finding me, Emmett? I didn't hear every one of those replies, but I'm sensing that you're a little cautious when it comes to coming through this device. I know it may seem scary, but it's completely safe, and you have a whole bunch of loving people here who would love to hear your story and your voice again, Emmett. I think it is. They were laughing. They were laughing at you? Are you talking about the two men that killed you? Emmett, it's all gonna be okay. You don't have to be afraid of these people anymore. They can't find you where you are on the other side, and they can't find you here on the session. I can tell just by your energy that you are in a very higher realm on the other side than any of these people who did this to you could ever possibly be in. You have to be pure and loving to get to the place that you are right now, and those people who did this to you were the opposite of that. If it's okay, Emmett, I would like to start asking you questions about what happened all the way back in 1955, when your tragic death took place in Mississippi. Um. 
Can you remember anything from that day, Emmett? It's all I can remember. I my friends. Friends? I've been talking. That's my favorite thing. You were an innocent 14-year-old boy just out with his friends visiting a convenience store. Can you tell us how the situation in the store got to the point that it did? She said, you should be more careful and watching us. That sounds so terrible. You have a whole army of supporters standing up for you and fighting for your justice, Emmett. They have a lot of questions to ask you tonight, and one of those questions was, uh, have you seen or heard from your killers on the other side? I know you seem to be really scared of them. Have you seen them again since 1955? They were tiny. Wow. Was your mom holding your hand when you saw this, Emmett? An angel. An angel? That's amazing, Emmett. I can tell from the energy in the room that you're giving off that you're such a loving soul. And now after hearing that, I have no doubt that you're in a good place on the other side and in really good hands. The angel's been Angels take you both up to heaven? That's so amazing, Emmett. I also know that you were abducted by these men from your uncle's house that you were staying at late at night. Emmett, can you tell us what you were feeling during those last moments? There's not a lot documented, and all of those who support you really want to know what these evil men did to you. Wow. Did you try to escape them, Emmett, or were they holding you down? I heard something uh, around those lines. Wow, that all must have been so scary, Emmett. You're doing such an amazing job coming through and telling us what happened. Can you tell us uh, what is uh, the last thing that you remembered, Emmett? An angel man? Does this angel take care of you on the other side, Emmett? I've heard stories before of angels being assigned special positions to uh, take care of those on the other side who are very young and have had traumatic experiences crossing over. You guys play together. And that's so wonderful. Considering what happened to you here on Earth, I'm so happy to hear that you're in such an amazing place now, Emmett. You deserve all the best for what you had to go through at the hands of those evil people. Emmett, was it very hard to make that transition to the other side? Sometimes it takes people many years before they can find their way up to heaven. Friend, is this friend the the friend that God sent you? Is that the angel that's with you? He is. He is. He helped mom. He helped mom, I think. Wow, that's so beautiful, Emmett. You know, everybody knows that you are innocent. There's not one person that can deny it because the lady who falsely accused you of offending her, who is at the center of your death,
had recently come out claiming that she had in fact lied about what had happened. I cried. You cried. Wow, that sounded like a whisper, but it definitely sounded like he said they lied. That's right, all these terrible people lied about all the things they did to you and tried to get away with your murder. Movements have been started in your name in hopes to end racism and all this violence. While the world is still in a very divided state, progress is being made. You'll forever be known in history as an example of something we can never let happen again in our world. Wow, all these are such beautiful messages, Emmett. And while I can't hear all of them, I can definitely feel all the powerful energy radiating off of them in the room right now. Do you have anything else you want to say to all your supporters who continue to fight for you and your justice and who haven't stopped since 1955? Wow. Well, Emmett, I'd like to thank you so, so much for coming through tonight and leaving all these amazing messages. People over the years will come to this video just to hear your lovely voice once again and hear all these inspiring messages that you've left for all your supporters and for anybody that watches. Just before we go though, I'd like to ask if you have any more messages you'd like to say before we end the session, you can come through now and say them. Can you come back? Well, you're always welcome to come back on the session anytime you want, Emmett. My spirit guide George is here on the other side to help you if you'd ever like to come back. I'm sure that the angel that's with you can also help you come back here whenever you'd like. And I myself would love to have you back here on the session with us, along with all your supporters. This is, this is the happiest day ever. I don't know why. Thank you, Emmett, for being here with us tonight, and God bless you on the other side.